Fox 2's Camille Amiri live tonight with that development and where they were found. Camille. Yeah, this is definitely an interesting story to say the least. Livonia PD right now not giving out any information about what they did to assist in this investigation, but it was still a very interesting night here to say the least. Take a look. This is Fox 2 video of three people walking out of the Livonia Police Department covering their faces as they got into a taxi cab that Livonia police called for them. This after their Mercedes was towed. As we pulled into the parking lot, they were talking to two people from the Kent County Sheriff's Office. Incidentally, investigators say they detained five people around 4 p.m. Friday during a traffic stop in Livonia. According to the Kent County Sheriff's Office, it is believed that two of the people detained were involved in Thursday night's shooting in Kent County. A 16-year-old male and a 40-year-old female shot when they were leaving a high school graduation. The two people detained believed to be involved in the shooting, 18-year-old males from Grand Rapids. Authorities have recovered two vehicles believed to be connected to the suspects. They've also recovered multiple firearms. They say there are likely more people connected to this crime and they are urging the public to come forward with any information. There was a complete disregard for the safety of individuals who are unrelated to this. They took this opportunity to capitalize and uh, it really is difficult as a community to process the loss of safety that happens with that. Okay, so those two vehicles that you saw in the story, those two white vehicles, police say that there was a shootout between people in those two vehicles, but that bullets hit two people, the 16-year-old and the 40-year-old, who were just attending graduation ceremonies, that they were just innocent bystanders in all of this. Of course, they are looking for more people tonight. And incidentally, the people who covered their faces, I was in the lobby with them for quite some time, waiting to talk to somebody, watching them. Of course, they did not have their faces covered, but as soon as they walked out, is when they did it because they knew my photographer was out in the parking lot and I ran after them and I yelled at them. I said, what are you doing? Why are you covering your face? Says, I want to know. And they just looked at me and then they said, the female said, close the door, close the door. And of course, the driver of the vehicle completely perplexed because she had no idea what was going on. So a lot more to come on this story and a lot more to find out about those three people who decided they did not want their faces shown on Fox 2. For now, we're live in Livonia, Camille Mary, Fox 2 News. Right, Camille, because police do have a couple of them in custody right now, but there possibly could be others. Could some of those three individuals uh, be wanted in this shootout in this case? Well, you know, it's interesting because I was talking to people here at the police department and sometimes, you know, people will tell you things without telling you anything. And so you kind of connect the dots and, you know, they were kind of they didn't say I was wrong, but I said, oh, well, these people were talking to the Kent County Sheriff's Office right here in the parking lot when we pulled up. And then they went quickly into the building as soon as we pulled up. And then, of course, if you were an innocent person just leaving the police department because your vehicle maybe had car problems, and you have to get towed. Why on earth would you cover? your face. That's not normal. These were not masks. Uh, people aren't wearing masks right now with COVID. And uh, they were looking at me very okay. intently when I waited in the lobby with them. So a lot of interesting developments with this case. Taryn, right. it right sounds, back to you. It sounds like there's uh, more of this investigation to be done and more to learn with this case. All right. Thanks, Camille.